Hello gamers, welcome back. If you're looking for a good mage companion, or even a horizon for your own magic playthrough, I have a good character suggestion for you. Today I will be making the Tamarian Sorceress, Trace Marigold of Maribel. Now, let's get into the details. For the body, it doesn't matter which base body you choose at the beginning, as long as you follow the sliders. The height is at 178, but you can always make her taller so that she can carry more. The rest of the settings are personal preference. The head is mostly left on default. We want head length at 15 so that her base head is slightly longer, and we also bring face height to 20. On the upper body, I increase the chest size overall, and on the lower body, I reduced her waist and leg size overall. For the postures, I choose moon style 70. Elbow angle minus 60, knee angle minus 50, and posture 15. Now here comes the main part, the face configuration. On the head, we're using base head number 7. For the skin, is number 3. We're looking for a younger skin type. There is a few that will work, but for now I'm using 3. Skin color is 8. She doesn't have a really pale skin color. It should look a little red or pinkish. Wrinkle is at lowest, of course, and skin sheen is at 30. For the brows, brow height at 41, spacing 50, depth 50, inner 40, and outer depth at 70. Brow angle at minus 22, and bending at minus 100. Her brow is very straight. For the eyes, we have height at 20. With 70, she does have a little bit distance between her eyes. Eye depth at minus 50, size 15, eye angle at minus 10, and the screen on the left side is 70, right side is 85. This is because on this base head, her right eye is slightly bigger. For the nose, we have nose length at 30, with minus 10, height minus 30, bump overall is minus 20, but up and lower I bring up to 10. She has a fairly straight nose. Nostril size is minus 10. Height at 20 with minus 10. Tip size is 10 and angle is 60. The nose tip is pointing upwards. This is so that we can give her this very straight nose bridge. And tip sharpness at 35. For ears, this doesn't matter that much. But I put angle to 40, openness to 10. But most of the time, it will be covered by hair. On the cheeks, overall thickness is minus 30. I want to give her a little bit of bulge on the cheek, so that it doesn't look too hollow on the cheeks. Neck fat at minus 90, cheek height at 70, with 25, and depth at 50. For the mouse, height at minus 20, with 20, protrusion minus 30, she doesn't pout her mouth, and you're looking like a line between her nose tip mouth and chin tip. Mouth corners at minus 60, and lip thickness at minus 10. Lower lip position at minus 10. For jaw, definition at 60, with minus 40, position minus 70, and protrusion at minus 50. So Tris does have a strong jawline. What we want to do here is trying to drop her jaw a little bit so that we give her a bit angle under her cheeks. Chin height at 25, with 10, protrusion 20, and sharpness 70. For hair, we are using hairstyle 33. There is still no perfect hairstyle for her, based on the version in-game, but 33, 34, 35, and 36 they all work at the moment. As Capcom starts to add more hairstyles, we can come back and change it. And 33 is my favorite, because I like these two little braids behind her. She has bright red hair that looks like fire, so we're looking for a red color. But overall, 39 is the best I can find. Tip color 47, and root tip blend at 10, so most of her hair are very red. Shin position at 70, and shin at 80. For eyebrows, we are using number 3. Color is the same, 39. And thickness at 85. For the makeups, on the eye, we are using type number 1. She has very green eyes, but slightly darker, 
not like serious light green eyes. So we are using 189. This is darker green that is more natural. Secondary is the same, 189. And we are giving her a little bit darker tone on the edge. So 170 here. Sclera is the default, 107. Iris size, minus 30. And pupil size, at 20. Eyelashes, we are using type 3. Root and tip color at number 1. Lens, 75. Density, at 50. For eyeshadows, we are using number 4. And color 1 is 4. Color 2 is 6. Intensity, at 50. Coverage, 50. Opacity, at 70. Metallic, 45. And sheen, at 50. For eyeliner, we are using number 5. Color is number 1. Coverage 60, Opacity 50, Metallic 20, and Sheen 50. For freckles, of course we will have to give her iconic freckles. We are using type 3, but 3, 4, 5 they all work. It's based on your personal preference. For the freckle color, we are using 12, and Opacity is 85. For the cheeks, we are using number 2. Give her a little bit of red on her cheeks. 17 as a color, opacity 65, metallic 20, and sheen at 20. For the lips, we're using type 4. Color is 14, spread 75, opacity 13, metallic 21, and sheen at 79. For the teeth, there's no change. She has all her teeth, and they're all very white. On the tattoos, Trace Marigold doesn't have any tattoo that we know of. But feel free to add anything based on your preference. On the scars, however, if you notice, I put a scar on her chest. Now some of you might not know that she actually sustained heavy burns on her chest during the Battle of Southern Hill. This was not shown in the game or in the TV series. So we don't know how it actually looked like. What I use is number 4, and here are the positions and the scales. There's no other scars on the arms or legs. Now here's all the settings. Let's give it a little bit of lighting. Now there you have it. This is my version of the Temerian Sorceress, Trace Marigold of Maribel. Let me know in the commentary what other characters you like to make. And please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content gaming. This is Xing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.